Hey everybody, it's John aka Smelly Telly and I'm here on a beautiful spring afternoon in Evansville, Indiana at More Guitars and moreguitars.com and today we are going to do kind of, not necessarily a shootout, we're just going to do some comparisons between two guitars that are visually and on paper fairly close uh, and, and that is with this guitar which is the Fender Ventura 70s Tele Deluxe and over here we have the Fender American Professional 2 Tele Deluxe. Um, and you can see by looking at them, they are very similar uh, as far as they both have pickups that look similar. They are a little different, we'll get into that. The pick guard and everything, the overall aesthetic is pretty similar. So uh, we thought we'd spend a little bit of time on each and kind of go back and forth and maybe highlight some of the things that might be important to a player and may not be as important or why, why you might lean one way or the other. And throughout the video what we'll do is we'll go back and forth in the video. You won't have to like skip. Uh, Larry will do all that for you. So when I compare the humbucker in this one, he'll then the next clip will be we'll be comparing the humbucker in this one so that we can get some direct sounds. As far as specs go, they are a little bit different. You know, even though they don't look different, the um, the Ventura this is this uh, a '70s edition, so they went for the whole '70s vibe. Now I'm not going to move because I don't want to throw everything off as far as lighting, but it does. It's got the three bolt you know, uh, neck plate on the back here like they did in the 70s. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, they don't have the barrel style bridge. They've got gone to six, you know, uh, more kind of like a hardtail strat type of bridge. And so Larry and I figured, well, I guess that's what they must have done in the 70s since it's the 70s. And that might be a thing, you know, some people might like being able to have a little bit more accurate um, as far as uh, intonating your guitar with the individual saddles. Woods wise, they're gonna be pretty similar. The whole Ventura thing is it's road worn. So um, when you first look at it and there'll be pictures of it, you'll see that it, it has the uh, it has the kind of the uh, relic vibe to it. You know, it's been kind of artificially aged. Uh, the neck feels really good. It has that kind of unfinished feel. Uh, which I like a lot. This one has the satin feel, which I like a lot as well too. So you're, they're both pretty good with that. Um, we'll, go, we'll play through it a little bit. And when I'm going through it, I'll mention a few things that I notice because it's really, without coming in and playing it, that's the only way for you to be able to know is just you know from how we describe it. So let's get into some sounds. We're gonna start with the bridge pickup. Now these are the wide field uh, humbuckers is what Fender used back in the 70s and in their deluxes. We'll talk about what those pickups are when I actually plug that guitar in. So this is the American Pro 2 Deluxe. Um, some of the big differences between the two guitars are going to be that this has the satin finish neck where the Ventura has more of the kind of unfinished, you know, some more like the relic type of thing. I like both. I think they both feel great. Uh, the neck profile on this feels a little bit beefier. They're both thinner necks. They're not super thin, but they're thinner. But this one just feels like it's a little bit bigger, not just depth wise, but just all around. Um, and it could be because that's a 70s version. Maybe that's they were using it. I don't know. Maybe that's just how they were built then. This, of course, has the you know, contoured heel, and the uh, Ventura doesn't have the contoured heel, and this the uh, the, the American Pro 2 also has barrel style um, bridge, whereas the Ventura had 70s style, which we figured was, you know, six different individual saddles, which, so probably, this one, probably, I just say probably, maybe he's a little bit more accurate on Intonation, I can't say that for sure. Um, both of my tellies have barrel style bridges and I, they tune, intonate just fine. So, uh, And then the pickups are different. Now they look the same, but they're not. These are actually Tim Shaw designed humbuckers and they're splittable. So uh, the way that they're set up is you just press on the tone controls down here and in the up position is it's split and down position it's in full humbucker mode so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to play through the humbuckers so we can kind of a b them with the sound of the humbuckers on the ventura and then i'll go back and i'll do some of the single coil sounds so this is clean and this is it's set up you know you have a volume and a tone for each for each pickup 
very simple on a three-way pickup selector. So we're on the clean channel right now and on my favorite amp that we have in the store, which is the Car Slant V. I talk about it every time, you know, nobody buy it, please, because we love it. So some clean sounds with the bridge. All right, so now let's check it out in the middle position. Now again, these aren't tapped, you can't tap them. So if you're digging the whole idea of being able to get you know, a few more sounds than just the three, uh, the, the deluxe, you know, the American Pro 2 is gonna give you more options. But with this one, it's just these humbuckers in together in the middle position. So we'll get some clean sounds. <laughs> Okay, let's get into checking out some of the neck pickup comparisons. Again, just got to say this, you can't, this doesn't have cold tapping, this one does. So we'll start with the Ventura, neck position clean. Okay, let's jump in and check out some of the dirty sounds. We are back on the Ventura and in the bridge position. Thank you. 
All right, let's do some comparisons in the middle position. We're on the Ventura. You got to turn the volume up. It won't work unless both the volumes are up. Did you know that, by the way? I, if you have one of them all the way up but not the other, nothing. You get nothing. It's like Uncle Eddie and his metal plate in his head. Over here, there's nothing. <laughs> My ears, yes, they're it's pretty woolly in this position on this guitar too. I'll have to listen to it back later on just to compare, but I kind of feel like both of the, these are kind of woolly in the middle position. All right, let's check out the neck pickups now. We're on the Ventura first. <laughs> As I promised, let's go back through with this guitar and listen to some of the split sounds. We're just going to stay on the dirty for now. Uh, you know what? I'll go back and forth. We'll stay on dirty and then I'll kick it back to the clean. So uh, this is untapped on the bridge. <laughs> Try it clean. Humbucker. Tapped. Yeah, that's a cool sound. In the room, it's a cool sound. I have no idea what it sounds like on YouTube. That's getting closer to the like a telly, how a telly sounds. It still, to me, sounds a little bit mm, more kind of almost in-betweeny, like an in-between sound than, than necessarily a full-on like telly single coil. Back to the dirt. All right, let's go up to the neck position. We're going to skip the middle for just a little bit. We'll come back to it because it's got, I think, like 7,000 different combinations. Pretty sure uh, I did well. Did really good in math. I'm pretty sure it's like 7,000. So neck position, we're in full humbucker first on clean. <laughs> Both sounds great, actually. <laughs> A 
Let's throw some dirt on. Full humbucker mode. Personally, I actually kind of like it in full humbucker mode, which is kind of weird for me to say that, but uh, I like the way this sounds full. So let's go to the middle position and go through all 7,000 different sounds you can get in the middle position, starting clean. So now both humbuckers, they're both humbuckers right now. Now let's split the bridge. Back to humbucker, split. So it's a little bit spankier, right? Uh, now let's go humbucker and split. So humbucker here in the bridge, split neck. Back to both humbuckers. And split. Similar, just the volume difference. All right, now let's split them both in the middle position. Sounds pretty cool. I actually still kind of, in the clean setting anyways, I kind of like it both in humbucker mode. So let's go to dirty. And I'm curious to see what happens here because with both of them, it's pretty, I like to say wooly. I'm not going to say muddy. It's pretty wooly in the middle position with dirt on. Let's see if tapping either one of these maybe cleans it up a little bit. So we'll, we'll go uh, humbucker in the neck and single tapped in the bridge. So no, <laughs> didn't really, it's still pretty wooly, isn't it? Let's try, you know what, let's just tap them both, see if, what kind of difference it makes. Back to humbuckers. It's just gonna be wooly no matter what setting we have it on. With single notes, it's, I actually like the way it sounds. With chords, it's maybe just a little bit too thick, though for me, my own personal taste. Maybe your dream come true. So that's one thing that I feel like both the guitars have in common is the middle position when you're using uh, some dirt gets, like I said, pretty wooly. So my overall impressions, um, so why would you pick one over the other? So you might, Price might be one reason. Uh, it's about a $400 price difference. Uh, this is about $400 less. Um, quality wise, they both feel very quality. Um, this probably feels a little bit more upscale and it should, if it costs a little bit more, you would hope that it would. Uh, I like that you have split, you can split the humbuckers on the American Pro 2. Uh, I like the color of this one better though, I'll be honest. And I, I love the aesthetic of the relic type of things and the road worn. I love that. And especially as clumsy as I am, I don't have to feel bad about putting a ding on a guitar that's already been pre-beat up before I got it. Um, playing wise, they do feel pretty different. Um, just like I said, there's something in the neck on this that feels just beefier than on the Ventura. Um, other than that, I mean, you would just really have to come in and play them. Um, the heel, you know, 
the, the American Pro 2 has the contoured heel, so if you play up high, that's going to be a lot more comfortable. And when I say a lot more comfortable, it really it's kind of a lot. It really is. It's, it makes a big difference. I've been playing tellies for years, and I never realized that that little, you know, the, the way it's cut bothered me until I played a couple that had contoured heels. And, yeah, it's, it makes a difference for sure. So uh, other than that, yeah, you just have to make up your mind for yourself. I am curious to see what everybody says in the comments as far as about the sound is, you know, how it comes across and which ones you think sound better. Um, as far as being able to pick one, like I said, you're going to have to come in and try it and see which ones you like better. Uh, if I was going to pick one, I'm not going to tell you which one I'm going to, I would pick. Uh, so you, I'm not trying to be clever or funny. I've never been good at either of those things. I just don't want to influence somebody, you know, you make up your own mind. But it's been pretty fun, you know. I love tellies. i got a strange kind of fascination with them. I have never owned a deluxe before, ever. Um, I almost did once, and then I didn't have the money for it. So maybe I'll get around to owning one one of these days. Maybe it'll be one of these two unless somebody buys them before I can get to them. So it's been pretty fun. I hope that you had a good time, too. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And if you have any questions about these guitars, of course, you can hit us in the comments, too. We do read your comments as, as much as we can. Uh, but you call down here, you know, more music, or you can just look at us up on the website at moreguitars.com. We'll be happy to help you out and, and hopefully get you one of these, whichever one you end up liking better. And I appreciate you hanging out. My name is John. You can call me Smelly, and I'll see you in the next video.